Welcome back everyone. We are going to do our second video of the teddy bear patch art lesson. Last time we did the warm up, so I have my warm up paper here and the rest of the items in front of me are the materials we need for today. So I'm gonna go over those. Anything you don't have, I'd like you to press pause and come on back once you have all your materials gathered. So you're gonna need your six five inch by five inch cut white construction squares. You're gonna need your warm up paper. You're gonna need a Sharpie, the Sharpie that was given out at the um, September material pickup, a pencil and an eraser, and of course, like we went over last time, a piece of uh, scratch paper that no one in your family wants to use anymore. Uh, it could be beat up, whatever it is, it could be written on. It just needs to be available to be under your paper while you are doing the artwork, especially when we're, uh, particularly when we're using our Sharpie, so that the Sharpie does not get, get onto your table or your countertops. So press pause if you don't have these materials. Go on and get them and come on back and press the play button. Sarah, can you come on up? Oh, here, hold on. Got Sarah here today, again, of course. Hi. And she has her teddy bears here for inspiration and to keep her company during this lesson. <laughs> keep you company. If you'd like to go get a teddy bear like or teddy Loma bears, uh, if you have a Loma Vista bear, go get it and come on back. Sarah's going to come on up and she is going to read to us the four points that we always want to keep in mind. And you know what? I've kind of decided that these are just things to keep in mind just in general in life. All, all the things you do in life. Keep these things in mind. Okay. Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get frustrated, take a deep breath. Count to ten, take a deep breath and try again like you did it last time. I had to do that the last time. Practice lesson. I did. My mom I, I messed did. up right here. Yeah. And it really helped me to just kind of take a deep breath and be okay with it. Number three, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect. Mommy, why are you so not with the uppercase? Uppercase, because I really want everyone to know that it's not perfect. Like, not Yeah, perfect. like I really want to emphasize not, okay? Okay, can I put in the bears? Good question. Okay, yeah, so situate your bears however you like. I'll, I'll just leave them here. We're going to get started. I want you to just keep your uh, warm-up paper off to the side because it's going to maybe give you some ideas while we're Even doing our lines. lesson. And the lines are going to give you some ideas. Um, I'm going to just have Sarah hold up the examples again of art portfolios. And you're going to need the lines because of the background. Correct. That's right. Okay, so there's an example of one right there. I'm gonna have Sarah hold up the next one. Then here you go. One. Thank you. I'm putting this down. These are just samples. This is Joey's. That's Joey's. No, that okay. Sam's. I'm just I'm gonna talk about Joey's real quick because I'm gonna go over how we're gonna do it today also. So right next to Sarah's head at the very top, that one. Uh, we're gonna do one um, uh, square with just a teddy bear's head. Okay. Then down below that one, Sarah. Right here. Yep. We're gonna do another one, a full body image of a bear. And then the one next to that, down low in the middle, we're gonna do one, a bear from the waist up. And then all the way in that corner, up at the right, oh, corner right up, here. up, yep. We're gonna do another bear where we're only gonna do one quarter of the bear. Mm -hmm. Now the other two squares that Joey did. This one and this one. Yep, he was given free reign, free choice to do whatever type of bear he wanted on those, and that's what he chose. Wait, did he get to pick where to put it, or did you have Um, to I it? assembled them, so I just put it in, in a random order. Yeah. Oh, well, this um, is Sammy's for his, what he chose mm -hmm. was this one and this one, I think. Okay. And why don't we, well, yeah, why don't we just kind of go over that, that concept again that I was telling you. The one close to Sarah's face, and even the one in the middle, right next to that one, that's a teddy bear's he head. So we're going to do one of those. Then down by Sarah in the far uh, left corner. Where my thumb is. Where her thumb is. That is a full-size bear. We're going to do a full bear. And then right next to that one in the middle is a half bear from the waist up. And then the one all the way in the corner on the right is a quarter of a bear. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. And then um, the two free choice ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Sarah. All right, so we are gonna get started. You're gonna clear your work area off and only have your pencil, an eraser, and one square. One you don't. You actually don't even need your uh, scratch paper. And you don't need your Sharpie right now. No Sharpie, yep. Okay, just grab one square. Right. Oh, that's my, I'm like, what is that white thing? It's my eraser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, you guys ready to get started? Okay, so we are going to start, we're gonna do a giant head. And I'm gonna show you a sample right here already in pencil. Okay, Sarah, you wanna see it? Did you draw okay. that yesterday? Um, I did draw that yesterday. Okay, so here's a sample right next to right next to mine. I'm gonna put that over here. All right, now we're gonna get started and smack right Wait, in the middle. Can you do what that did? Are you gonna do what? I can, sure. Right in the middle, I kind of want you to make a circular motion to tell your brain where the bear's head is gonna be. Mom, mom can you okay. do like um a little sh um a little smaller, just a teeny bit smaller. Okay. So you have more space on that brain. Sure, okay. So this is the circular motion I want you to be making right now. This is where your bear's head, head is gonna be. So stop your circular motion at the top, where the top of your head's gonna be, and then come down a little bit and put your two eyes. One and two. Oh, draw light if you need it. Please draw lightly. If you draw it too small, your bear's head's gonna be super small. Oh. I want you to draw your eyes big enough so that your it matches how big your head is. So make sure your two circle eyes are big enough to support how big our head is gonna be. All right, now I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna give this bear a nose. Nose. I'm gonna do a square with curved edges. I'm gonna kind of do what I did yesterday. I'm, mm -hmm. gonna, I'm gonna practice the same bare face that I did yesterday. I'm gonna come to the corner of the nose on the right hand side, and I'm gonna come up and make it into where the ear is gonna be. I did like a kind of like, a, wait, you did a square? I did a square, you can do a circle. No, don't, do whatever you wanna do. You do not have to copy me. Okay, now I'm gonna come over to the left side okay, of my nose. Circle, whatever. Yeah, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna come over to the left side of my nose and I'm gonna come up for the ear part. And I'm noticing that my eye is really close to that the nose of the line. So I'd like to, I'm gonna move my eye so that when I sharpie it, it doesn't hit that line. Oh, mine is. So I'm gonna just move it over a little bit. Remember, if you're drawing lightly with your pencil, erasing is um, is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my ears kind of down. That ends my ears, and now I'm gonna do a circle for the for the mouth area. No. Yeah. Circle for the mouth area. And then I'm gonna give a little oh, a mouth. Uh oh, sorry, you guys. I don't want iPad to jiggle, but when I erase it kind of jiggles because of the platform I'm on. Okay. It's a, um, um, what is it called? Um, I, uh, a stand. No, like, uh, the oh, 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 I'm sorry that you meant what the iPad's on. This is a, like an anchor? Like yeah, for, for like when for you park, when you park a boat? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to end the, the face of my bear all the way around. Um, it's like Mickey Mouse. Does it look like Mickey Mouse? You know what? My bear's kind of high here, and and it's closer to the edge. I think maybe I'll make my bear. I'm gonna decide to make my bear's head a little bit smaller, bigger. Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna come and give him a bigger. Oh, can we do it smaller? You can do it however that you want. That is gigantic. Yeah, I did do a pretty big one. I do want you to do a fairly big one because I want it to take up most of the paper. Uh, like That's beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna come up here and see see where this is right here. I'm gonna show Sarah. See where that is right there? 
Okay. You're gonna like follow that, and that's where your forehead's gonna come up. So Wait, pretend. Uh -huh. So pretend. Pretend like you're moving up, and then and then you're no, like this, and then that's where the top of the head goes. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna show your buddies. So I'm hey, gonna. <laughs> your classmates. Okay. So right here, I'm just gonna kind of pick up my pencil, and come up, and that's where the top of his head is gonna be. Oh, I got it on my one. See if you go like this. Wait, wait, and this is going like, okay. like that. You got it. And, oh, got it. Now I'm going to do the inside of the ears. Oh, no. The inside of this ear. And oh. I'm thinking that, uh, you know what I'm thinking, Sarah? I'm thinking oh. that my eyes, if I want to make them bigger, which I kind of do, I'm going to just have this be the, the black part of my eye, and I'm going to make this part. Oh bigger like that oh mama yeah yeah there we go yes so I made my my eyes a little bit bigger I want my eyes not that big so I'm just getting my both of them okay this is your creation all right I'm done with my teddy bear's face your teddy bear might look a little bit differently look I even did it differently than my, the first this one right here here I had the teddy bear's chin right here come down below the head they can all look they will all look differently okay so i'm going to put that off to the side now i'm going to design the background wait mommy don't your um no i take that back the um same way like if you want these two eyes to go different ways you can't do it not not us no we can't look in, in, to the right and the left. i know not real bears okay then. yeah Okay, so I'm going to be done with that. I'm going to put this square off to the side, and I'm going to grab another blank square. So I'm done with one square. Now we're on to square number two. Ooh. And now this one, we're going to do a full body. Kind of like oh, what we did. I forgot the ear part. Okay. Kind of like we did right here. Okay, we're going to do a full body. This time, I'm going to make the face look like this face though Wait. like this i'm gonna have this mouth part be really big do you see that sarah oh but are you gonna have a small body or we are are we doing just the face or half of we are gonna do the one? full body like oh. this one oh, yep. oh. okay so let's start towards the top of your page mm -hmm. but remember come down enough so when you put your eyes you can put the top of your head and your ears so let's do two eyes, circles, okay. two circle eyes. Then I'm going to do, this time I'm going to do a circle nose. Oh, did you go too much up? No, I'm okay. If you want to make your eyes lower, you can. Well, we have to do the whole body. We are going to do the whole body, yes. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to come up here and create where the ears are gonna go again. This is our third time making a bear, so it's gonna get a little bit easier every time. And here, I think I'm gonna make my ears a little bit bigger. Our third, because it's a warm up. Yes. Mine is my fourth. Warm this warm is, up. yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do the, the part of my nose that's inside my mouth area. And I'm gonna give him or her a smile. There you go, beautiful. And now I've decided that I'm gonna kinda do it like I did this one. See? I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring, no, I'm gonna bring the face down like this. So I'm, I'm going to bring the face and I'm going to meet my circle area of my chin. I'm going to change that. And I'm going to give him a chubbier little, Chubby. chubbier little cheek area. Then I'm going to do the top of the head. Chubby. I'm going to do the ears. Wait. Oh, you good? Okay. Oh. And, and then I have my face here. Remember, if you're drawing lightly and you feel like you want to erase an area, you can. Oh, dang. 
And if I am going too fast and you need a break or you need to rewind, go ahead and press the stop button, press the rewind button. If you need to take a break because you're frustrated, go ahead and uh, maybe do some jumping jacks or run around the, the living room. Or if you have a trampoline. Hey, maybe you have a trampoline you, you can go jump on. All right. I know kind of. Now I'm going to uh, do his neck. Neck. I. Oh, uh, you gotta do the top. You gotta do the top of the head. Wait. Oh, okay. um, I might draw my body small because I got a little. Sure. Something. Okay, I'm gonna do the. I did the neck, just two straight lines down. This time I'm gonna do arms that are slanting down. Me too. Remember, you do not have to do exactly what I'm doing. I want you to add your creativity to your bears. Okay, I'm gonna copy you with the camera. If you feel more comfortable going along with my directed drawing. But I like my bears around it. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna, I did the ovals to end the paws. I can add my little paw details inside. I did an oval and some circles, an oval and some circles. Now I'm gonna do the stomach, and I'm gonna, it's kinda like a U. I'm gonna do like a really oh. wide U for the stomach. <laughs> and this time I'm gonna have my bear sitting down. Oh. So I'm gonna pull my legs out to the side like this. I need to do it, cause I don't have any space. To you don't have enough room? To be like Maybe yeah. you have space to have your bear standing. Maybe you're gonna have your bear kicking the, uh, his or her legs out to sit. See, I have like And then you can add the details in, inside the paw. Or if you choose not to add any paw details, you can leave it an oval. I can't do paw. Or a circle. I'm gonna show you where Sarah is. I can't do a paw. Gotta erase my foot. All right. All right, so that's where Sarah is. This is where I am. Now we're done with, oh, I gotta give him, I forgot his, the eye inside. All right, I am now done with two of my bears. I have the face and I have the full body. I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna put these two squares off to the side. I'm gonna grab a third square. Look at my bear. You wanna and show him your bear? Okay. There's Sarah's bear. She tried her best. It looks so beautiful. I didn't do mine sitting down because I had like barely any, but Sammy's, um, he did it sitting down. Okay, I did. all right. Grab your third square. We're on to our third square. And now we're gonna do from the waist up. So I'm gonna show you Sammy's from the waist up. Here is Sammy's starting at the waist. I like doing the, the waist. waist up. I, I like doing this. You like doing this one. And I'm gonna show you Joey's from the waist up. Here is Joey's from the waist up. I didn't see him. Oh, he colored in. He did. A, he did a black tummy. Yeah. 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 Everyone see, has see their own did a style. Loma Vista shirt. Yeah. Loma. Yeah. Okay. So let's start at the very bottom, and we're gonna do the waist up to the tummy, up to the arms, up to the. Wait, that's a little bit too much waist to the side. Up. We're gonna go. We're gonna build this bear going up. So this this is the waist up the tummy up to where my arms pardon me are gonna be. So it's two parallel lines going up. Or if you want this to be a really thick bear, you can make it curved to give them more fluff. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have this bear with his arms going up in the air. Wait, is oh that's the waist. I thought it was like. And I'm gonna give the arms the paws again with the Wait, oval. Mommy, can they do their different? Yes, you can have your arms going down. You can have one arm up, one arm down. See we did this. Yep. And, and wait, he did an eye winking. He did do an eye winking. You could do both arms going out. You do your arms however you'd like. I dropped my pencil. That's okay. Okay. Now we're gonna come in and do the shoulders, bring the shoulders in to where the neck is gonna go up. 
And if you'd like, Wait. oh yeah, the pause. If you'd like, you can add. Um, if you're gonna do the Loma Vista bear, you can give them a Loma Vista shirt. So you can give them a collar up here, some sleeves up here. You can write Loma Vista. L O M A Loma Vista. V I S T A. And now the bear has a Loma Vista shirt. And then you can, if you would like to do the pause it's again. There. Wait, can they draw a bear inside? There's the bear. It's a bear and then a bear inside. Oh, I don't. I think drawing a bear inside the shirt is a big How tall do they do it? Order. How, how do they do it? Oh, goodness, I don't know. Okay. So I'm done with my body all the way up my neck. Now I'm going to do the head. So the way I'm going to do the head is I'm going to do um, almost like a U shape like this. A U? Oh, interesting. Hmm. I've never seen a head with a U. Oops. A shaped head. A lot. Mom, I've never seen a shaped head. Okay, and, the, and, it, and then the U kind of comes in on both sides oh, and then I'm going to give them ears big round ears and then I'm going to give the top oh. of the head hmm? hold on I'm just ears on the neck. the neck oh you right um, I got a lot of space and I accidentally did it more of a hair but it's totally fine. And then Sarah was saying like the top of the U kind of curves in like this. I'm going to show Sarah. It kind of curves in. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you could do the, the big circular ears. Oh, wait. Be careful. Oh. And now I'm going to give uh, two eyes. My one. Is easy for you. Well, oh, this is not easy for me. I'm really trying my best. I'm trying very hard to do my very best. <laughs> You're like. And then I'm gonna give um. <laughs> I think I'll do a triangular nose for this one. I gotta do my head more wider. That's and then I'm... this one, I think I'll do the nose like the mouth area coming Ooh. out from the center of my nose. How about that? Mommy, I'm not with you. That's okay. So if you're not with me, if you're like Sarah and you're not with me, you can press the pause button. Oh, I... You got it? it. Yeah, you're doing great. And I can give my anchor smile. Wait, I broke my... Where are you? Yeah. I go like that. Oh, if you want to. I was actually going to skip that on this Wait. one. Look, I was I was skipping that online. I was just gonna do a circular face, without the those lines going into the forehead. But if you want to add those lines to the Here forehead, you can. The head. You want me to help you raise? Sure. All right. All right. This has the big tummy. The big one. tummy, yeah. It's full of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna kind of catch Sarah up with me. Yep. Mm hmm. All right, Sarah. All right. Okay, so go ahead and add the eyes. There's your pencil Make back. Make sure to not lose these squares. Oh, yeah, we don't want to lose our squares. Okay, now I'm going to do the inside of the ear. Sarah, I did the oh, eyes. Oh, thank you. You look so beautiful. Your handwriting. <laughs> and then I'm going to give them Your handwriting an eyeball. So and I am finished with my Loma Vista bear. Oh. Um, I need so I'm going to show you the three we have so far. We did the face. We did the full body. And then we did the half body. Oh, you did a triangle. I did. I did a triangle <laughs> nose. You can do whatever shape nose you want. And now I'm going to do a quarter bear. So I'm going to kind of explain the quarter bear, Sarah, while you're wrapping that up, okay? Oh. 
So where is my example? The cord bear is that one. All right, so this is my example. I'm gonna show you Sammy's example. This one is Sammy's example. If I were to put my bear next to Sammy's bear like that, it would make a half bear. You see that? His is on the left, mine is on, uh, his is on the right, mine oh, is on like, the left. It's like, um, that's the whole bear, except you need a Sharpie and do whatever he, his colors. Mm -hmm. And all the rest of them. Keep going, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so a quarter bear means it's a quarter of the body. And if we know our math terms of fractions, one quarter means one fourth. Um, so if I, hang on a second, Sarah. If I were to take my full bear here, and I were to take one paper and divide the bear in half, I would have one half of the bear here and one half of the bear here. So let's keep it divided in half. Now if I want to divide it into fourths, I have to take my paper and cover the bottom part, the bottom half, and then I have just one-fourth. So one-fourth there, one, two, three, four. So those are the four parts of the bear. Can they do that? So if you choose to do the lower part of the body, that is totally your choice. I really enjoy doing the head. So my fourth of the bear is going to be this section right here. It's going to be half the head, one of the arms, and half all the way to the waist of the body. Can you yeah. like use that button more to the side? We're going to come back to that later. Can you move on with us to the fourth square? We're going to have time to work on this when the video's over. Wait, are we going to do three videos or two? It's going to end up being three videos. So we have, uh, this is the very, th we're getting towards the end of this video. So we are on square number four, and we're going to do one-fourth of the bear. So like I showed you, Sammy's bear is the right-hand side. And, jo and Joey. Joey's bear was the right-hand side. This time, I'm going to go to the left. And Zachy's is going to be the left when he goes to the third grade. You think I should have Zach when he's in yes, the third grade? Yes, I'm too, left? Um, to okay. right and to left, because okay. then you can... I will try really hard to remember that. <laughs> okay, so everyone start with me. And we're going to do the top of the bear's head, but only half of it. Oh, you cut me. So I'm going to, I have this right here for my reference. I'm going to leave that right here. And yeah, I am going to direct, I'm going to draw mine based on this one. I'm going to have this help me. So I'm going to draw half the forehead. Go ahead, start, Sarah. Oh. Half the forehead. Then the I'm going to do one. Oh, goodness. Sorry. Then I'm going to do one ear. Wait. Gosh, that's really big. Then I'm going to do the oh. other half of the face coming down. You're only going to do one eye. Only one eye. So I'm going to do a big eye right here. And. Sarah and I, when we were practicing, we were looking at Sammy's, and we were like, oh, Sammy does these cool anime eyes. And I said to Sarah, I don't know how to do an anime eye. I'm going to teach myself. So I did an teach anime. Myself. I did. I taught by looking. So I did an anime eye here. So I'm going to show you how to do an anime eye in case you want to do one. I'm going to do one. Okay, awesome. So what you do is you come in here, and you do an oval. You can do an oval right here. Oh, that looks like a nose. And that's the main part of the eye. And then you come up here to the top and you do Wait. kind of like a circle up here. And then you shade all around that circle. This is a really simple anime, anime Wait, eye. Can you do that to mine? No, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You do your very best. You try. Everybody's trying their very best. Okay, I'm not going to try that. You don't have to do an anime eye. I'm, this is an option. So, I'm done with my eye. And now I'm going to do half of my nose. So, I'm going to do 
half of a, I'm, on this one I'm going to do half of a triangle nose. Whoops, oh my gosh, I keep shaking it. Sorry, you guys. I really thought I'm this gonna color one that one black. Shake, the, one shake this. I'm going to color this. Okay, awesome. So I did half of my triangle nose. Now I'm going to do half of my um, mouth area. Should I know that I'm going to sharpen it? And then I'm going to do half of my smile. Half of the anchor. Half of the anchor. Now I'm going to come down here and do one side of the neck. Just one line down. I'm going to do one arm. This arm, I think I'm going to do this arm going up. Uh, you don't have to do your arm going up. And I'm going to make my arm pretty big and thick. And then I'm going to bring the body down. And do my oval, the table. Yeah, that's okay that you're shaking the table. I'm going to do my oval shape to wrap, to close up the arm. Um, I, uh, and, I hmm, let me see. I'm going to have to erase it all because I can't um, No, no, you don't have to erase it all. You're just going to do, uh, or if you want to start over, you can flip it over on the back. Um, Wait, I can't? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead and flip it over on the back. And then move your head. You're gonna up. glue it. Yeah, I'm gonna glue it down. So if you're, if you, can I, can I show them what happened? Okay. So Sarah goes, uh oh. I did. Sarah goes, uh oh. I did mine too far down. Now I don't have any room to put an arm. So she was gonna erase it all and start over. But I, I said, well, why don't you just flip it over to the back, and then that way you have a fresh, clean area. And this time, Sarah can learn from. What she did the first time, she came way down. So this time, Sarah, you can learn from that and you start higher up, okay? Here you go, babe. Now like right I there. have, yeah, that's that looks good. Okay, now I have. I'm way behind. And is that okay? No, good. Can you pause the video? Yeah, no, pause the video. All right. I wish I was one of the students so I could pause it. <laughs> uh, where did my head go? Oh, uh, uh, what? look what I did. Oh I, my. I drew oh my, my, I drew, God. but guess what? That's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. I drew my head on the back. I drew my quarter body on the back of where I drew my head. That, that's because when we practiced, you did that. Now, if you did that, that's okay. Just grab your, uh, another square and another. copy one of the, um, one of the bears. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, whew, thankfully I have this one. This is my backup. All right. Backup. All right, so I'm going to go backup. over the bears that we've done so far. I have my full face bear. I have my whole bear. Um, do you want to look at that one or this one? Wait, did you draw this one? Which one I drew both of them. Just now? No, I drew this one just now. Okay. okay. So I have a whole face. I have a whole body. I have a half a body and I have a quarter of a body so how many have I have we done four yeah um yeah but we have six squares right so the last two squares you are going to design on your own after the video is done you're going to design them on your own so put the last two squares off to the side and that's going to be your your work that you're going to do on your own and we're going to do the very last thing for this lesson to wrap it up oh. We are 